Hey guys, welcome back to another week of the D2 Talks. This week we are going to Poland to meet Mike and Eddie from the Evermotion team. I've had the chance to meet these guys already a couple of times in Vienna as well as in Sofia at the Chaos Group headquarters. The only thing that I can say about this experience, put it that way, is that I never had so much fun talking to people from this industry. In this episode, we are going to talk a little bit about their history, the way they got into making assets for architecture, and some other cool stuff that I promise it's going to be very interesting as well as entertaining. Enough of me, blah, blah, blah. Enjoy this talk. One, and I think we are live. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Guys, I'm very excited to have you on the D2 Talks. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, th since the very first time that I met you, I was like, damn, I know the guys from Evermotion. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, no, of course. Yeah, no, not because, so I mean, yeah. okay, I, I should, was so, I was so surprised. <laughs> I should make a quick introduction about you, but I don't think you need one. And uh, you are basically those people that made all the assets that everybody, everybody uses in their renders. Well, we guess that is the right introduction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, it's like uh, there, there was a, there was a, back in the days, a, a joke that I was telling my colleagues. And I was like, you are never motion artist. Not because you worked at Evermotion, it's just because you do your renderings with Evermotion assets. <laughs> and that doesn't make I you a good they, artist. I hope they not only use it, they also buy it. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't know. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for taking the time to, to, to do this. I'm very excited to have you on, uh, on this channel, mainly because you don't really go around talking much. You just work, yeah. work, work. Yes, we mainly uh, are based here in our uh, cold country, in our uh, cold city, and uh, we uh, live not so often, but uh, we are living from time to time. Well, for example, when there is a D2, well, <laughs> you can that's expect... A, that's us. the best conference in the world. What do you expect? Yeah. Of course, absolutely. But actually, yeah. I was honored to, to hear you speaking in, in uh, Bulgaria when we met at the Chaos headquarters for the um, CG2. That's also the second best uh, conference, <laughs> yes. CG2, yeah. We, we have to say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello, Alex, if you hear it. <laughs> Hi, Alex. <laughs> uh, anyway, the... Um, Th that that conference was actually really good because of the fact that you know there were people that uh, I really heard for the very first time. Well, apart from Chop, Chop, I've already uh, heard him speaking, but you guys, I was very surprised to know about your so-called secret projects, which at the moment I don't think they're secret anymore. You can tell me whatever you want. Uh, you know, we're not gonna disclose things that we cannot disclose. But I guess that if you talked about it at the CG2, it's uh, relatively out in the open, the project that you have done with IKEA, right? Yes, yeah. We're okay. working with them all the time. Okay, so this has been something that you did for longer than, uh, than we have known. Yeah, yeah, a few years, maybe it's four years ago we started to do some first models. And okay. right now we're all the time making, all the time, Almost every day there is some some modeling for IKEA. And this is because they cannot uh, supply enough of, uh, of their own uh, workforce, or is it because... As far as I know, they working with other companies as well, because the amount of models they have and the complexity of the models is so high, they looking for cooperation all from the world. So okay, they have now. a lot. Lots of lots of requests for for modeling. Yeah, I can only imagine. You know, sometimes when I when I when I walk down the street, I stop to see at uh, pictures that IKEA post, and I know that ninety percent of the time those are renderings. You know. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And the amount um, of details, it's uh, it's incredible. Yes, they demand the highest quality possible, uh, yeah. insane quality. <laughs> uh, yeah, Guys. Some 
sorry, sorry, I interrupted you. Almost impossible, but... <laughs> Uh, by the way, I didn't introduce you by the name. Um, no. We have. Yeah. I, I'm so sorry. We have. I call you Michael because Michael it's yeah. easier for me. But uh, your name it's Mi Michal. Michal, yeah, Michal. but it's Michael. Okay. <laughs> and your last name because otherwise I'm gonna kill it. Uh, my last name is Franczak. Franczak. Michal Franczak. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because it's, I never it's know not if so it's easy to spell. And then we have uh, uh, Rafael or Rafael. Rafael. <laughs> Rafael Baniek, right? Yeah, right, exactly. Okay, that I go Don't right. But we Eddie. call you Eddie. Yeah. yeah. Don't yeah. ask me why. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know the story. I already asked him, you know, <laughs> whilst we were drinking Turbo Cola. Which... <laughs> yeah. uh, but anyway, guys, how did you get started? I mean, you know, uh, making assets, this is a brilliant idea. Mm -hmm. How did that come to your head? Actually, I was not here when it started. <laughs> but as far as I know, the the guys were working on some visualization, so like normal stuff, and they were making some assets. So there was this idea to make maybe those assets to speed up a little the, the things for not only for for them, also for all other users. So the first collection was even just models, even without textures or materials. And yeah, but people like it, they bought it. So so they made the, the second one and then the interiors, exteriors, and yeah, people like it. And well, you know, it was the times when uh, there wasn't uh, so much uh, knowledge about 3D online. Yeah. So the people were gathering on forums and uh, exchanging uh, knowledge between uh, themselves. So uh, there was a promotion forum in it, and it was the beginning of uh, everything. And uh, uh, the bosses uh, just uh, wanted to share some information to uh, learn uh, about 3D. And uh, from time uh, with, uh, with time, it uh, became more and more popular. Uh, a lot of people uh, came just to visit uh, promotion forums and, oh man, this nice site, there is a lot of knowledge here. So uh, the first sellings were through just, I guess, a forum chat or something like that. <laughs> and then uh, when it uh, came out that, well, it sells really well, maybe we should do it. So that that was the beginning. As far as I know, the, the, it, was, it was also the first steps for VA. So those days, uh, I think Brazil was the main runner and mentor ray. So uh, there were not so much information about VA. So uh, one of our bosses uh, actually is, was an expert in beer those days. Yeah, so maybe that's, that's also for, for the community. The community liked him and all the stuff he he done on the web. So it's uh, it's uh, it's really like in a way romantic to think about it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> You know, th there was even a chance that uh, this company could not uh, exist because uh, at first uh, the bosses thought that they will just make some nice renders and uh, we will be hired <laughs> by someone <laughs> in 3D. But, uh, well, we all are lucky that <laughs> it didn't happen <laughs> and uh, now we get our own. No, this is, uh, this is really impressive, as I said, you know. But um, how did the, the, the workflow change uh, throughout the years? Like, for instance, when did this become a company? Because, you know, you must have done the first collection and thought, okay, you know, this is mm -hmm. selling. Now we need to get our stuff together and really get organized because, you know, this can actually be a job and it should be a job. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a hard question, actually, because I was not here <laughs> when it all happened. As far as I know, the, there were two bosses at the start, two people, and they hired one, only one uh, artist, who is actually yeah, the Paul, you met him, he's one of the bosses today uh -huh, as well. okay, 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 yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, so he was the first, first, uh, first artist here to, to, to work on the collections. And yeah, when they started, they not they don't only uh, made the collection; they also had some projects for for clients. And after after the collection was success, uh, they stopped it to do any uh, projects for outside. So only our products. 
and they hired more people. They started with a small studio actually in the center of Bialystok. And after a few years, I think when I started 10 years ago, the logo and the company was already uh, already very famous. At least, at least I, I, I knew about it. Uh, but uh, most of the people didn't know that it was a Polish company, actually, even I. So I was very surprised when I got a uh, job offer from them. And even when I started, a few years, we, we, we were working only on the ARC models, ARC interiors, only on the our stuff. And after that, we started to do something for, for people because we have lots of requests to cooperate with other studios to make some assets only for them or to make scenes only for them. Yeah, I can and, imagine. Yeah. You, you with mentioned all, that... With, all, the, with you, all the models, actually, with all the database, we made all the art models, we were very efficient because we were making the scenes very, very quickly, so... Yeah, I can imagine, you know, that at one point you have all the assets, all the materials, everything that you can possibly yeah. need. Yeah, like I remember, a puzzle, you only need to put it together in this Yeah, scene. <laughs> you are a real Evermotion artist. <laughs> 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 and uh, uh, let me ask you one thing. You, you also mentioned that you guys had to work, uh, you had to supply stuff for like Hollywood movies. Well, some kinds, I don't know what we can disclose about this project. Uh, that was, uh, you know, uh, without names, uh, of course, there uh, was a TV series, uh, but uh, of course, uh, I guess that we cannot uh, talk about it because okay, he, that's he, fine. he, yeah. look at his face. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, I know what he's talking about. It's, it's yeah. fine, you know, it's, uh, it, it wouldn't be the first time. But eventually, you know, the, the, the reason why I'm saying this is because very often we hear people saying, you know, they come from architecture, they learn how to do 3D, and then they realize that they would like to go and work on Hollywood movies or like TV productions. And they say, yeah, but I don't have the skills to do that. And I'm like, listen, I know people that, you know, have come from different industries and they were able to really get inside the market and do so much just because of the knowledge. And very often people get stuck because they don't have a piece of paper that says Hollywood artist. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that, get us wrong. We don't uh, we don't do like you know affixes or something like like that. We, no, 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 no. Of we, course, all not. we do it is asset actually. So yeah. all in model uh, environment environment yeah. assets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but yeah, it's still with very studios, yeah. But with, you still have a very big foot on the door. That's what I'm. Yeah, that's what exactly, I'm exactly, to... exactly. Actually, and, it's not even that we wanted to do it. The <laughs> people just ask us to do it because they saw uh, our products, our uh, shop, and they was uh, curious if we are making all the stuff here uh, at studio or we are hiring some people or just selling this, those stuff. And yeah, there's lots of lots of uh, different companies from not only Hollywood, from game game development also that uh, asking us to cooperate with them uh, for the assets, uh, for the textures, etc. You know, mostly the environment modeling. But that's, that's, this is what we are do actually, this is uh, our speciality. I understand. And can I ask you now this out of curiosity? You know, no, usually if you work in a production studio, uh, the clients come and they want the project uh, on Friday evening, they ask you to make the project for Monday. <laughs> so, you know, it's terrible <laughs> deadlines and we were talking about it. That's the reason why I want to ask you. I know mm -hmm. that you guys have a very rigid, uh, nine to five schedule, you know, respect your family, yeah. respect your uh, dimension, go home, you know, now it's Friday afternoon and I'm keeping you in the office. Uh, <laughs> but I would like you to tell us a little bit more about that aspect of doing your job. Yeah, so this is, this is the f one of the first thing when I discuss with the client. So they, they send a briefing with some projects. I prepare the quotation and the timeline and our our work time. So it's from here, from here, and periods. We don't work during the weekends. So if there is something like we need something like like now, please do a quotation and 
Well, the, my first my first uh, reply is we work only from here to here, and we don't work to weekends. We are still interested or no? Uh, usually, they say yes. We are still interested. <laughs> we can do it after the weekend. So. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> so no, there is no overtime. There is no crunch. There are no crunches. No uh, anything. Well, even our talk is uh, quite early because it's Friday. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, we are sending you beer after that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, we are trying to not to do anything uh, overtime. But yeah, sometimes there are some. Few, few, few projects that uh, I personally uh, work with on the weekend, but actually I was almost alone as a studio director, so it's, it was actually my fault <laughs> that I had to do it. And I can ask some artists if they want to help me, but I cannot like uh, force them to do it. So if someone wants to help me and sit here in the weekend, maybe drink some turbo cola and do some models. <laughs> <laughs> they are okay. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, it's, um, I think that anyway, whatever you're saying is, you know, it's expected. If you are in a, in a fast paced environment like this one, yes, in theory, it would be nice not to work on weekends, but it can always happen that, you know, something comes through yeah. and yeah. you have to do it. It's just yeah. about keeping the integrity of the company, you know, it's... Uh... Yeah. yeah, but on the other hand, actually, there is so much of new stuff to learn, like uh, new software, so you have to do it in your free time, actually. So it's not like we don't work during the weekend. We we do something at home. We we try new new tools. We we try new techniques of modeling or etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's not like uh, the the job ends at four 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 uh, four a.m. Eh? four p.m. So usually most of us working overtime just for themselves, just for fun, or maybe for extra money. You know, you know it's it's very funny that you mention it because very often. Um, when when I'm at home and my wife comes back from uh, from work and we meet and we have dinner and then sometimes you know I'm like staring in the emptiness and she goes like hey what's going on and then you know I am sure that she's thinking oh my god something is wrong what did I do and then in my head I'm like D to conference D to conference <laughs> you know, the work never leaves your head you know it's, uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, when the work is a passion, then it works like this. You you never leave it. No, but, you know, I think it's 100% uh, correct. You know, I don't think that you should kill yourself for the job that you're doing. But caring that so much that you think about it all the time, I think it's a simple consequence. There is no, like, um, yeah, of course, you should be able to tell yourself, okay, Fabio, you need to reboot, you know? But... If you're happy doing what you do, then there is nothing wrong, you know? Well, if you like what you do, then you're resting all the time, yeah? <laughs> you know, if, if we put it this way, think of like people that pursue crazy dreams like, uh, I don't know, you know, Mike, I know that you're a musician. Yeah. It's we'll not easy to be a musician, you know? You have to do it on your own uh, time, on your own money, on your own investment of, you know, whatever it is, your personal relationship. It's a, but it's a passion and at the end it fulfills you. So, you know, of course that, that it works that way. Yeah. I, I can work on uh, all my weekends with music <laughs> and it's not work. And you know, the, the crazy thing is, yes, you guys are mastering the industry and you do fantastic things, but Mike, you are a blender modeler. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's yes, and uh, everybody is making fun of me. I'm, I'm thinking, hey, stop using this over bloated free snacks. Sorry, out of this. And they say, get lost, blender. You don't use it. So you know, it's a quite fun environment. But I'm not. Pro artists are using two D S Max and mine. <laughs> don't go on. Okay, uh, wait, wait, wait. Pro I'll put... use Blender and Unreal. <laughs> <laughs> I will put the logo of Autodesk in the corner of the... Autodesk, please send us some free license. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. That's what we're going to do. 
and also some complimentary champagne. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But uh, one for me. One question that I wanted to ask you: uh, You talked about, you know, uh, introducing new pipelines, new tools. Now, do you have a department inside of Evermotion that does this? or do you really try to learn as you go? We learn as we go. Yeah. We, we all uh, sit in uh, one uh, bigger area of open space, and uh, basically uh, if uh, everybody is learning from each other and uh, making it better, of course, there are some uh, people that are better specialists in particular software and other you know, other software because they like the workflow, they, they like what they're doing, and but we don't share it to departments. So this way we also can uh, um, sometimes uh, uh, make the flow of the jobs uh, more fluent, you know. If you don't have time, you will have time to do it and uh, it all uh, cooperates and everybody's learning something new. So it, it's quite a nice situation. Can I ask you something out of curiosity? How do you guys organize your work? Like, there must be some sort of art direction in order to make such beautiful scenes, you know? You need to be able to visualize an idea before being able to build the model and visualize it. What am I saying? What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I see your faces and it's like... No, 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 no. Uh... How to say it? We are inspired by photos we found in the uh, internet, actually. Okay. So, so the, there, there is a lot of uh, references. Of course, there, there is a, a lot of uh, personal vision. This, but there is uh, on the beginning there are references. On the beginning, there are moods that uh, should be created in a, a particular scene. But uh, no, we don't do this from scratch, you know. The mind is uh, <laughs> one thing, but uh, the world uh, has got so many great designs that uh, you just need to uh, make uh, in 3D and uh, uh, just look at them and say, okay, that, that will look great if we, if we do it. So uh, we are uh, very often inspired and we are mixing it, of course, with... Uh, our solutions, uh, our uh, thinking here in company, and uh, but it uh, never is that we start from the blank card, to bl blank sheet uh, of paper. Okay, and you know, there is actually yeah, I'm uh, the studio director, but actually the art direction is like every one of us. So we see, look at the render, and everyone has someone to say uh, about it. So mostly. The people are working alone, and they are very good with the with the art direction. From time to time, actually uh, one a week, uh, we have something like a meeting, and we check all the stuff we done during this week, and then we talk about maybe some changes and something like this. But usually, the people are good enough to to work by themselves. Yeah. So yeah. I don't need to stand behind them and. Well, it's quite course, yeah. it's quite democratic, you know. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, everybody can be art director. Uh, we check it uh, on a weekly basis, and uh, just uh, uh, everyone else can uh, tell three or four uh, sentences about what he sees and here and what he would uh, just throw out. Yeah. I love it. Make three D great again. <laughs> <laughs> No, but uh, uh, okay. Then one more question: How long does it take for a whole collection to be done? Mm. Good question. Good question because a uh, lot of times we uh, breaking uh, have a break for for projects, so it's not like someone is working on the scene from start to finish. Usually, they I putting them out for for a project, but I think. Up to two months, yeah, okay, because so, yeah. because of that, because right now even even maybe even longer because we decided to decided to uh, do the scene is more complete. We not only for camera shots, we also decided to uh, do all the models in substance the uh, substance painter. So all the models are PBR or most of them. 
so we are putting more uh, uh, more more force for the details actually so it's taking more time but the quality I think it's better every year all the interiors if you even you see the uh, Unreal Engine, there are, there are integers for Unreal Engine, the latest. The latest. Yeah, I think they are very, very good compared to the, the, the last one. I and remember, yeah. you know, I remember from the past, uh, mm -hmm. we're talking about, you know, four, five, maybe six years ago, uh, people complaining about, you know, the quality of some of the models. Uh, and then, I remember, you know, that it was an issue because of interpolability, you know, you're still taking a model that was done in 3ds Max and you're putting it in another. And then I remember like a couple of years ago, uh, people like downloading old scenes from God knows where and complaining about the quality and the fact that, you know, there were scenes from like 10 years ago. And one thing that I wanted to ask you now, you have a reach that it's huge. I mean, how many people come to the forum? 150,000 or something? I don't know. Whoa. Uh, well, there are uh, page views, uh, I guess, going into millions uh, monthly. So it's, not, so it's not the small site. But of course, uh, there is also uh, an issue that uh, the Facebook, the, all the, the stuff is quite competing with it, with it. Uh, so, so it's not an easy task to, to gain the interest uh, as much as uh, before Facebook era, so, so I, I must admit. But, uh, but yes, uh, there is a big community and uh, we have also big plans for this year to uh, revitalize our site, our forums, uh, our galleries and uh, everything to make it more social friendly, more uh, artist friendly. Uh, it's a big task, but we already uh, are, let's say, after the first steps to uh, design it. To uh, We know what we want to do. We know uh, that we are starting this year. So uh, hopefully uh, we will make some really nice uh, archivist friendly sites that uh, will be the place when uh, everybody will be visible in some kind of way. And especially when he is good or she is good, they will uh, gain popularity through every motion. That, that's our hope. But, uh, well, there is a lot of work. <laughs> to make. I can only imagine, you know, I can only imagine. I mean, managing a community, it's already a big deal. Designing one, it must be... Oh. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we spent uh, the uh, some last months of the last year uh, thinking about it, discussing it, and uh, designing it. And uh, we get some projects that, uh, well, I, I cannot wait for it. <laughs> but oh, I guess that it is like, well, at least half year or even more to to launch it. Well, you know, the big sites are quite uh, difficult to uh, migrate for a new uh, solutions. I have a, I have a question. Oh, sorry. Uh, I have a question. Um, do you have any international artists inside your studio? Or they're no. all from Poland? All from, from Poland. Poland. Okay. Now, because for sure, for sure, people will watch this video and they will be like, it's such <laughs> a cool place. Let's see if they have a job available. Yeah, there, there were some people that wanted to work uh, with us from abroad, but in the Poland there is so much talented artists and yeah well you know uh, it, if someone has great portfolio he can send it to us uh, maybe not for uh, working here on place but uh, well the freelancers are yeah. sometimes uh, uh, you know think that uh, people that we are taking to account and uh, we are happy to cooperate in some projects even better would be to come and meet you in person, you know, at one of the conferences that you guys go, because that helps all the time. Yeah. Because, you know, maybe sending a portfolio is not the best, you know, the portfolio goes into the rubbish. Build no. a personal connection. Always, I always look at the portfolios. Maybe no, but not, I mean, like, you know, after you look TV, at it, you know, it's, uh, you forget it because it's not there anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. I have, well, a, so I have a special folder with all the portfolios. Oh, you do? <laughs> yes. Okay. 
Yeah. No, that's very good. And, and of course, good. If, if someone wants to meet us personally, I guess that it will be possible on D2 or uh, CG2. So, uh, Are you guys well, going okay. to Sofia in May? Uh, I plan it, yeah. I plan it to go to Sofia in May and I plan it to go to the tour also and uh, I am also considering some uh, other uh, conferences but uh, I'm still not sure. But these two, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, because you missed last year. <laughs> oh, really? really? Yes, we missed last year. I, I was on my holiday break and it was planned from uh, months. Sorry. Don't worry. No, it, don't it worry. won't happen again. <laughs> no, it's just that, you know, I'm very proud also of the fact that, you know, we built this huge community, people that come to Vienna, and it's a, it's a big party. And to be honest with you, now I'm not saying this because we're talking, you know, we talk, you and I, all the time. It, it's just funny to have you there, you know. it's uh, You guys are very good at partying and talking <laughs> to people. And, you know, it's just, it's a pleasant feeling. And I think, you know, I'm not saying this as a criticism, but if you guys showed your face more, you know, because every motion looks like a huge machine, but if you mm -hmm. guys showed your face more, probably people would have a, a, a different idea about you, which would be just positive, you know, because you guys are fun. Uh, <laughs> you know, I met you, I met... Um, What's the name of the guy, the, the, the blonde guy that I met in... in uh... The high guy? No, 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 no. The, no, I'm not talking about... Um... Oh, oh, no, uh, uh, we were... Uh, oh, wait a second, because uh -huh. I was... Uh, all, uh, either it was Andrew, our Unreal uh, Engine specialist. Yes, yes, that's yep. what I was trying to, to, yeah. to, to look up on the internet, yes. But I don't think I have Andrew as a contact. No. We, 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 we will, uh, well, yeah, he rarely, yes, he has Facebook, but, but he, rarely, <laughs> he rarely uses it. We will contact, contact him with you. He's working all the time. Yeah, he, no, but he's, he's, super, he's a super no, cool yeah. guy. You yeah, know, he has a... No, 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 no now, now he's even in the second game engine. <laughs> okay. Anyway, is, uh, is Pavel Excuse there? Excuse me, Pavel? Well, today it's not no, here. Not here. Oh. Okay. Well, you, don't you know, the Hi, Pablo. Or some, some stuff. I, I will see him on uh, in Vienna, maybe. Oh, probably, probably, yeah. probably, yes. Guys, listen, I still have like a billion questions, but, you know, we met our 30 minutes mark. Our goal is to make a 30 minutes oh, interview. Really? Already? Mm. It, it was, I tell you, it, uh, time goes so fast, you know. It's, <laughs> uh, we are actually a couple of minutes already above. But anyway, okay. I just want to thank you so much for taking the time to do this. Um, no you know, we're going to publish this thing. We will see how people react to it. And maybe if needed, <laughs> if there are more questions, we can schedule another meeting. Yeah, sure. Okay. We also thank you for this opportunity. Uh, no, absolutely, absolutely. And so we are happy that, that you are doing what you're doing because you are <laughs> popularizing this all Orgvis stuff, Orgvis uh, uh, problems, issues, and uh, earnings. Uh, that was a great video. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. You, you well, you know, I think it's about time that people kind of like uh, tell things, you know, because everybody's very afraid of saying how much they make and how much they don't make. And yeah. to be honest with you, you know, if there was some sort of like, I know that it's not possible, but if there was a price list, that would be easy because, you know, everybody would say, you know, this is what it costs, this is what you're going to pay, and then if you're a shitty person to work with, then, you know, it's it's not about the price, it's about how bad you are, you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> of course. Guys, thank you very much for taking the time. I'm going to stop the recording. Uh, I'm going to post links to Evermotion and everything, although I don't think people will need them. Uh, stay online because we're going to say goodbye to each other. Okay. Thanks a lot again for uh, for uh, for taking the time. Uh, Thanks. I will see you in Vienna. Yes, yeah. see you in Vienna. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.